area as large and as spread out as Orange Walk South. But Magania says she's very confident that she will be victorious over her opponent, Jose Adel Adelberto Mai. From the time I came in from my convention, I have been working hardly. Um, I've, I've managed to get funds from the um, Honorable Prime Minister with the Petrocarib money, and I actually have worked in all my villages. I did um, road infrastructure starting from Yo Creek to San Felipe, way to San Carlos, Guinea Grass, um, even Fireburn, which is the smallest community. We did road infrastructure. Uh, we brought electrification to um, Guinea Grass. We um, fixed the water system in Guinea Grass. The same thing with um, San Felipe. We constructed just recently a new well. Um, and, you know, people are seeing that I am working and I'm putting that extra effort to really bring those resources to Orange Rock South. So it has been very positive. And I have been, I mean, and I was just about three months that I came in, in um, as a standard bearer. So I've been working really hard and people are seeing that effort that I'm putting and they're really here to support me. Do you think, uh, from what you mentioned just now, you think that your campaign might have gone a little bit differently if you did not have those Petrocari monies at your disposal? Not necessarily, because I had been there. Yes, I, I am a um, newcomer, but I had been there working way before. You know, my husband and myself had been out there um, assisting with the um, different um, villages and um, sporting activities and sponsoring um, young people and some um, teams. So we, I have been working there before. And as a social worker, too. That's, I have that background. I work in that area for 13 years as a social worker. And I've been in my area helping, assisting people. So it's not that I'm a newcomer to politics, but I'm not a new face to the area. Tell us a little bit about your strengths, what you bring to this race. Okay, what I bring to this, to this race, me as a as, a, as my person, I'm very compassionate. I know the needs of the people. I've been a social worker. I understand. I listen. And I'm here to lobby and advocate what I did in my social work profession. So I can bring all of those strengths. And as a leader, that's what I need. I need that connection to the people, and I have it. And for them to have that confidence in me that I can bring those changes to my constituency. I can lobby for those resources for the development of my constituency and to continue transforming my constituency. Now you're going up against somebody who is considered a relative powerhouse in that era, Jose Abelardo Mai. Give us a prediction for November 4th. Okay, Jose Abelardo Mai is not going to win. He has been there as an era representative. He has been there getting the community votes that he is supposed to be using for his community. He has done nothing. So comparing him that has been there before me and me as a newcomer, I have really transformed my constituency, you know. And I believe, I, and I know that the people of Orange Rock South have that confidence in me, and I will be victorious coming November 4th. Since we had the opportunity